good weather in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it just really depends on who you ask. We're all entitled to our opinions. I mm -hmm. mean, yesterday was election day, right? right? So we got to express those opinions and the results are in. We've got rainy and cool weather on for today. Not that that was on the ballot or anything like that, but it is going to be a rainy day. We've got rain off to our north and to our west. And in Longview, this is just kind of setting the stage for the rain that's going to arrive pretty shortly. But again, there's the stratus clouds, not a lot of wind in the area. You can also tell that from the picture. All the rain right now continues to be progged up to our north and to our west in the DFW area and also right along the Red River. But there it is right there. Sherman to Paris along Highway 82. Some heavier showers embedded and this will continue to progress from west to east as we move throughout the morning. Let me go ahead and zoom in on some of the activity that's ongoing. And as you can see, Rains County, Hopkins County, Wood County, some showers being picked up there. We also have some showers right now in Camp and Morris County. So we will continue to track those light showers as they progress from west to eventually east. But there are your temps currently. We are in the 40s and 50s. It is 47 in Marshall, 52 in Tyler. Notice we are significantly warmer in deep east Texas right now. That's because the front, it's cleared your area, but the cold air not quite as dense as it is in our northern counties where we're seeing widespread middle 40s uh, right now. So here's future cast temperatures. They're going to continue to trend downward, meaning most of us only going to be in the 40s this afternoon. We're not going to see warmer temperatures this afternoon. So the highs have already occurred today. Showers to the south of Interstate 20 and along Interstate 20 by noontime. We progress that a little further. Three o'clock, we're starting to see that heavy rain in deep east Texas. Our central and northern counties this evening should generally be dry, but again, some drizzle, some light shower activity certainly cannot be ruled out. And then as we roll into about nine o'clock, temps will be in the 40s tomorrow morning, and we're still going to see the clouds. We are not necessarily going to see the rain. I think those chances will be well gone by then. And then by four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we're dealing with temperatures in the 40s by then. And then it's a cool start for your Friday morning. This is seven o'clock in the morning. Look at this upper 30s, lower 40s for us. We do rebound nicely, though, with temps back into the 60s Friday afternoon. How much rain could we see? Well, we do have rain totals up to an inch, maybe even more than that where that heavier rain occurs, where those reds and yellows occur this afternoon. But again, everybody is seeing the widespread rain and everybody needs to see that widespread rain because a lot of locations right now under at least a moderate drought. Here are your next seven temperatures in the 70s, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Plenty of sunshine around deep east Texas. Colder day today, good chance of rain. Rain comes to an end by tomorrow. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KEDK.com.